So Kel Brook and Connor Ben get into an altercation during the Katie Taylor versus Chantel Cameron event. Kel Brook does an interview and as he's doing the interview, Connor Ben pushes past him and then it all goes off. So Kel Brook goes up to Connor Ben and then Connor Ben proceeds to push him. Right now, um, this ain't looking good for Connor Ben. Connor Ben doesn't need this kind of attention on him. But, you know, it is a good fight. It does make the, the fight sell if it happens in the future. I would love to see the fight, but Conor Ben um, still has to clear his name in the UK because he's not allowed to fight as far as I know. So, you know, Conor Ben has that issue that he has to deal with. Um, Conor Ben is only allowed to fight in America. Um, Kel Brook and Conor Ben would be one of the biggest fights to happen in the UK. And I would definitely would love to see that. I'll probably go and watch that live, you know. It's a very good fight, very good entertainment fight. But, you know, Conor Ben then says after he shoves Kel Brook, you know, people want to pipe up on the internet, etc, etc. So, you know, Conor Ben felt like, you know, I have to go and stick it to Kel Brook, you know. I have to go stick it to him. But, you know, Con this just ended up with Conor ma just making him look even worse because, you know, he already has, um, you know, drug tests and all these failed drug tests and all these eggs, you know, on his name. And, you know, the last thing you want to do is get into, you know, any any sort of beef, you know. You know, Conor Ben, you know, I have to, you know, coming in his defense, he has been getting it a lot by social media. Social media has been getting hard on him. But, you know, let's respect Conor Ben. Let's actually give Conor Ben some respect. Because unlike, um, you know, Tyson Fury... Conor Ben actually addresses the hate. He actually addresses the, the abuse. You know, he doesn't run away from the from from the pressure that social media gives him. You know, he knows he did wrong, and he's holding himself accountable. Maybe not in the way we wanted to do it, but at the end of the day, he's only a human being. But at least he's not like you know having a mental breakdown, going on social media, swearing, you know, at, at different fighters. You know, he's just defending himself because at the at. Listen, there's a point where you have to stick up for yourself, you know. People can't just be, you know, talking out of their ass, isn't it? But at the same time, you know, at least he doesn't go off of, you know, social media for eight weeks, you know, because he can't, he can't handle the pressure, you know. Conor Ben really, you know, he really don't, he, he doesn't even, um, you know, put uh, limits on his, on his Instagram comments, you know. He's not, he's not scared to do that. Like, he, he, he don't allow, he don't like, like Tyson Fury, you know, he's putting, like, you know, a limited amount of comments you can have in uh, in these comments. It's like, you know, he doesn't want certain people to comment. You know, he doesn't doesn't want that kind of attention. Doesn't want negativity. You know, but Conor Ben, you know, he invites that. So you got to put your hats off to Conor Ben for, you know, at least taking the stick. You know, because if um, why do you think Tyson Fury hasn't spoken about Conor Ben's situation? Because at the end of the day, yeah, he knows that if he was in the same position, he wouldn't be able to handle it. So he respects that about Conor Ben. I think we should all respect that. But at the same time, Conor Ben needs to hold himself accountable, you know. Blaming these eggs, you know, it's just making it look like, you know, you're just making excuses. But, you know, as a man, he has pride, right? So he's not going to just come out and say, you know what, it was my bad. That It takes a real man to do that. I'm not saying Conor Ben is not a real man, but, you know, it takes a lot of balls to do that. Um, so... Conor Ben obviously, you know, has a lot of things going on and this is the last thing he needs right now. But if this fight was to happen, I would be so excited. I think it would be good for the British boxing scene. I think it would do good numbers. Um, I think it, I think it could do probably around 50,000 people can turn up to this fight. You know, it's a good world to wait. You know, hopefully it might happen at, it might happen at light middleweight because Kelbrook, you know, I don't think he can make you know, uh, 147, he can probably, he will definitely be able to make 160. And Conor Ben, you know, you know, Conor Ben is one of the best um, talents to come out of the UK scene. Him, Joe Cordina, a few of a few of our talents, Katie Taylor. Man, I gotta say, man, it's it's really good to see that UK fighters. Um, also Adam Azim. Um, you know, he's a very good talent, a very exceptional talent. Um, you know, it's good to see these UK fighters, you know, flourish. You know, it's good to see the UK scene. Um, just get up there, you know, because America got a lot of a lot of lot of good faces. They got Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, Javante Davis. I the list goes on really. So it's good to see like fighters from the UK emerge, and you know rep the UK in the boxing scene because we really can fight and we really can bring it. But 
with that being said it does not look good on Conor Ben to be you know known for steroid using um yeah it doesn't look good on him but you know he's a human being you know he's not the first one and he won't be the last um but you know you gotta respect him for you know you know not being afraid of the criticism you know he comes with it you know he does interviews he's not like Tyson Fury you know ducking Usyk and you know you know, being he's afraid to actually hold himself accountable that he was the one, you know, that messed up. You know, he's the one. He, Tyson Fury, you know, he can't take the the, the 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 criticism, so he goes off on, he comes off of Instagram, you know, goes off on eight weeks, eight weeks off Instagram because he's too scared and he's a coward. He's a coward, so he has to like, you know, you know, he can't deal with the pressure. He needs to like, you know, take a take deep breaks for social media because he'll have a mental breakdown. That's the truth. That's the that's the actual truth. That's why he can't handle it. You know what happened when True Geordie was telling the truth. What happened when True Geordie was telling Tyson Fury the truth? Tyson Fury got so angry at him. It's almost like his ego got destroyed. His ego got humbled. See, that's the problem with Tyson Fury. Though. When you when you he has someone real actually telling the truth that you're not really there. You're not really that guy. You know he 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 melts. He crumbles because his ego has been hurt. He has so many yes men around him. You know, gassing him up that he's the best heavyweight since Muhammad Ali. You know, just gassing him up in his head that, you know, he feels like he doesn't have to fight music. He feels like he's too big. <clears throat> but, you know, so when people come and tell him, no, you know, you're not even that, you're not that good. You know, he, he says, you know what, I'm going off social media for eight weeks. Comes back with some new rubbish. Come back with some next up rubbish about, you know, Uzik stocking. You know, everybody knows the truth. Tyson Fury is the clown of the UK. He makes the UK look soft. He's a very good fighter, but man, he makes us look soft when he does this, you know, this antics and this manipulation. He can't manipulate the media anymore. He can't manipulate the media anymore. So, you know, he's going to have to try and he's going to he's going to have to do one thing, which is which he's good at doing. And that's getting in the ring and fighting. And he has to fight Usyk. He can't just he has to fight Usyk or Joshua. He cannot step in the ring with Deontay Wilder for the fourth for the fourth time. He can't step in the ring with Derek Chisora. Hey, we, we don't want to see a Dylan White fight and we don't want to see Andy Ruiz because that's a 2.0 Derek Chisora. At the end of the day, you know, Conor Ben, you know, he, he'll be the one to take over when Anthony Joshua when Anthony Joshua leaves the sport. You know, it's not it's not Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is not a marquee. He's not a star in the UK. That's why he had to go to America to fight Deontay Wilder because in the UK, nobody wants to watch him. He's boring. You know, he, he couldn't even knock out Derek Chisora within the 11th round. You know, and he talks about this Kronk style, but he didn't work against Derek Chisora. He's been in the ring with him three times, couldn't knock him out properly. So, you know, just goes to show, um, you know, but anyway, back to Conor Ben, like, you know, he's going to, he, he's a, he's, he, this, I can't lie, this steroid cheat, this steroid, um, this steroid story, this eggs, you know. It's just making him bigger, man. All this, um, this allegations of him steroid cheating and doing all this. It's just making him, making Conor Ben a bigger star. Even though it's not good, it's not good. Uh, it's not good. Um, you know, attention. It's still attention. It's still gonna give people. Still gonna wanna watch him. And if he fights in America, he's gonna be able to bring a lot of eyes, you know, to to the UK scene. So, um, it's good, man. It's. It's not good, but it's good for you know you know bringing back the the spark in boxing, man. We need we need those rivalries, man. And I think Kell Brook versus Conor Ben could really be the spark of a new like um you know just a a new thing in boxing, like a Carl Frosch versus George Groves. Just Kell Brook versus you know Khan didn't live up to the potential because Khan was you know they were both old, but you know Kell Brook still you know looks like he still got enough you know, enough gas in the tank to. You know, to fight a young bull like you know Conor Ben, that fight could, if that fight could could happen, it would be so big for the UK, man. Honestly, it would be like, you know, AJ fighting a big marquee name. So, um, let's make the fight happen, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is gonna look bad on Conor Ben, right? Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you think Conor Ben, you know, should just really step away? He shouldn't even be coming to boxing events, you know, that that big. I think he should just be watching it. You know, be watching it. Get his the zone subscription and just watch it like everybody know everybody who has a nine to five, right? You know, why is he going? Why is he going to like the boxing events, fam? When you know you got all this heat, you know he knows that people are gonna get onto him, 
but he's still going there. So he, you know, Conor Ben's not like he's not a coward like Tyson Fury. You know, he he, you know, Tyson Fury wouldn't show his face, wouldn't dare show his face to go into a boxing event because he knows that he'll get the stick. He knows that people will get onto him saying, "Listen, you're scared of music." You know, Tyson Fury had a mental breakdown. Literally, you know, they have to call the ambulance to, 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 to take him in it. So, listen, Conor Ben, I got to rate him, man. He's got balls, man, because. You know, he knows the whole world's against him. You know, the whole world's calling him a cheat. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he's facing the world. So, you know, Conor Ben feels like, you know, he has to protect himself. You know, I think Conor Ben, deep down, you know, he wants he wants everybody, he wants wants him to go back to normal. I'm sure he regrets it. You know, he doesn't want to be, he doesn't want to have this name, you know, this, um, you know, um, I'm a steroid user, you know. He doesn't like that, man. He doesn't like that, you know. So... You know, but he has to defend himself because you know what well, you know what I mean. He's a man at the end of the day, and if he doesn't do it, then no one's going to do it for him. But you gotta respect it, man. But this ain't looking good for Connor. He doesn't need this kind of um, attention, right? But you know, it's still good. You know, it's gonna be, it's just gonna bring his name. You know, when you think of the UK scene boxers, you think of Connor Ben. You're not thinking of Joe Cordina. You're not thinking of um, all these like you know traditional. All these boring guys, man. I, I, like, you know, Joshua Boatsy didn't look good in his performance. Anthony Yard, yep, yep. I can't lie, man. I got to say, all the light-skinned brothers are doing really well, man. I can't lie. The, the, the light-skinned the light the light gang, they've been repping boxing in the UK. I can't lie. I can't lie. I have to be... The Anthony Yards, the Kell Brooks, the Connor Benz, I swear down, they've been moving. They've been, like... Hey, James DeGaulle, Chris of Eubank, you know what I mean? Team Lighty. The Team Lighty gang have been repping the UK scene for boxing for a long time and you got to give them respect, man. They've been they've been lifting us up, man. I don't know where Joshua Boatsy's going. I don't know Richard Richard, Riapo, Lawrence Okoli. Come on, guys, man. You need Team Darkskin. Come on, let's, let's do better. Let's do better than this, man. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. But, hey... Let me know what you think in the comment section. Be sure to like my video and subscribe. JG up.